Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It's a Thursday, rewards day on FIFA, and I wanna kinda take a look ahead at today and to tomorrow and just talk about what's coming next because right now it kinda feels like we're in a limbo mode with the first set of future stars ending. We are about to have the second set of future stars in packs tomorrow on Friday. We've got a lot, a lot of market movements going around. We had a new SBC today uh, or yesterday with the Musa Dembele. So I'm going to take a look at that um, and kind of what we might be expecting over the next day or so, because I think there's a lot of people talking about with the new season coming, are we going to see icon swaps set number two and uh, possibly the introduction of icon moments. Now I was under the belief obviously that it could happen because last year on February 14th, the second Friday in February, that's when we got icon moments. It could come out this Friday. It also might not come out. So we got a lot of stuff to kind of talk about and theoretically look at today in the video. Now, first things first, I'm recording this, of course, before Weekend League Rewards are released. And as I'm seeing it on the market, some of these Future Stars cards are dropping into the rewards time frame. This Sabolazai 580,000 coins was like 620, 630 for most of the day. That's where I sold mine. But the biggest drop-offs in price are on the two low-tier cards that a lot of people invested in earlier this week. Uh, Diogo, Dalo, and Lunin. These guys have dropped off a bunch, and here's the reason why. A lot of people invested in this Dalo, right? Because he links to the Tonali objective that was out, and Lunin, of course, links to the Real Madrid favorite center back, um, Mr. Varane, who got an inform today. Now, I don't think people really bought Lunin as an investment because he links to the inform Varane. They thought he was going to go up that much, maybe a little bit. But I feel like this Lunin was just invested in because he has the saves with feet trait. Looks like a pretty dope card. People say he's actually really good in game. Uh, and he, he links to Varane and the other Real Madrid center backs that are in this game, like Casemiro and Ramos and stuff like that. It was just a different link for a lot of people that do use Varane. But what happened was, over the course of this past week, we've had the double 85 packs come out twice now. They released another set of those uh, yesterday on Wednesday. And these cards have just been very, very packable. We've opened a lot on stream. Lunin and Diogo Dalo have been packed so often that I think the supply is outweighing the demand in this instance for these cards and it's making them actually drop. Now, of course, I do think today with Weekend League Rewards, you will see these guys bounce back. You're going to see them take a hit in price because they're going to get supplied. These cards are pretty packable. In all honesty, a lot of people have packed Dalo. A lot of people have packed Lunin. And that does concern me a little bit for like how many people actually want to buy these cards if they've already packed them. I still think there's demand for both Dalo and Lunin. Um, but I think they go, I think they're getting sold off right now before rewards because people are expecting their prices to drop further. Um, watch during rewards though. These guys could definitely bounce back because they are still desirable. They do fill a lot of needs in the game, a Real Madrid goalkeeper and a Milan left back with the links to Tonali and a Serie A left back in general is this Diogo Dalo. So watch those guys specifically during rewards today and watch this guy. Watch this guy Des because he is down. He's 350, 360,000 coins at the moment. If you see a, a 10, 20, even like a 20K dip is kind of what I would look for on these cards during the rewards time frame. Think about it as like the current week team of the week right? You, you want to take a watch on some of those cards during rewards because they always get supplied, uh, which this week's team of the week is a lot better than what we were expecting. But um, we'll talk about that in a second. Just watch these future stars because I do think they are going to dip and I do think they are going to rebound. Now, of course, as we talk into late tonight on Thursday into Friday tomorrow, what are we expecting to see? What are we kind of expecting to be planning for with the weekend promo coming up. Now, I want to take a look at a future stars prediction. This is by Elitage, Foot Dog, and Harrison. I'll link this down below in the description. This is the best prediction that I found out there that I think does a good job of putting in realistic players and, of course, OP meta type ones as well. Now, you see in this prediction, we have 11 future stars players with the three that EA have told us are getting second versions, and that would be Reyna's right mid, Reese James CDM, and Diago Delo getting a right back card where he probably is, is better off used with his right foot other than a left back card. So for these three cards specifically, I'm interested because they're going to have another item out in the game. I think the Reese or James stands alone though because I think his right back version is so much more desirable, uh, the stats on it with the 11 pace upgrade 
than the James that is the 87 CDM. So I think that Reese James 87 CDM is probably gonna be like 300K, honestly. Uh, and the, the the right back James is going to stay more expensive, but I think the right mid Reina could hurt center attacking mid Reina price because there's two items with similar stats in the game and possibly with Dallo as well. Um, just depending, I think I feel like that left side card's a bit more the 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 need that position fulfills is just a higher. Um, degree of demand on this game. But if you take a look at this prediction here, Bellingham, of course, Cherokee, of course, Jones, Fofana, Williams, David, Anthony, Torres, a lot of big names. Saka, this card, if this guy is not in Future Star set two, a lot of people are going to be upset, right? English links and French links, especially. French links are coming into play big time once again in FIFA because of the Moussa Dembele SBC that came out yesterday and um of the team of the week this week there's multiple french cards in there and this tweet by ea sports right here they tweeted yesterday hey foot stars is here we're going to send out our talent scout one more time we voted france and then they released this today our scouts have locked into the best young french future stars we need your help with one important decision which position would they focus their efforts on 72 percent of people voted center back now i on stream we were talking about this today thinking about all the special center backs that are french that we already have in this game i was telling people please vote for for right backs right please vote uh, vote for right backs we're gonna have veron upa Meccano, you know tons of french center backs out there in this game already we had a, another informed kimpembe today right so we so we have so many french center backs i was hoping for a french right back but it looks like we're going to be getting a Future Stars SBC for a French center back on Saturday. So that just brings more desire to the French links in this game right now. And I think that's what you're going to see do rise the most and be the most, yeah, I guess, link investable this week is those French midfielders, especially because um, even in this week's team of the week, there's not a lot of midfielders. Um, so definitely watch out for some French midfielders, Pogba, Kante, all your other sorts of special cards out there that link to French um, players in FIFA because I feel like those that demand is pretty high uh, in FIFA. Now, let's talk a little bit more about future stars and what could be coming You know, on Friday. Uh, obviously, another team in packs, right? Another set of 11 players in packs. But I think this is one thing that everybody is looking forward to on Friday. Turn potential prospects into prime performers. The Foot Future Star Academy player. So it looks like we're just going to be getting one of these. Um, select future stars by completing Foot Future Stars Academy objectives. Uh, work through to earn four versions of their future star items. So that is one thing we are 100% expecting on Friday of this week is a new objective like this because we have not had one yet. It was not in the first team and uh, we're expecting that 100%. Now, I don't think there's anything else that's that's interesting in here. Yeah, again, it only says starting the second week for the Future Stars Academy. So we're 100% expecting that. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is, again, icon moments and the new season, right? This new season, we have one day, 14 hours left, and a lot of this stuff is going to expire, right? A lot of it's going to go away. We're going to have a new season coming out. So, Let's, I want to take a look at last year because I think part of what we had last year and part of what has already happened this year might give us a clue on what's going to happen when this new season comes out. I'm honestly not convinced now looking at a couple of these things. I don't know if EA would want to drop Icon Swaps, a new promo team in packs with the Future Stars set to, um, Prime Icon Moments in packs, Player of the Month Gundawan or Premier League Player of the Month coming on Friday tomorrow as well. I feel like there's just way too much kind of going on here. So I feel like what honestly might happen is that icons might be pushed back a little bit and that this week we might just get the new season with the new objectives um, and the new season progress players, but we might not actually get icon swaps yet and they might save that for next week because last year during foot freeze, what they did was they released all 89 icons uh, along with like foot freeze like a promo where they released all these little things, right? Icon moments, winter refresh team, uh, squad building challenge updates, league objective player updates, and then they had the top most 50 improved player upgrades, right? It was just a lot of these little, little content pieces. But with future stars, 
Um, and earlier, what they did this year with Freeze, they kind of did that too, right? The Freeze team, Freeze player SBCs, Road to the Final Team 3, Prime Icons coming out in two sets. Icon Swaps number one came out during Freeze. I honestly think that we might not get Icon Swaps or Prime Icon moments until um, next Friday when Future Stars is over. Whatever promo they run or if it's just a quote-unquote off week and they do um, Icon Moments cards and packs or if they do like Winter Refresh next Friday, I almost feel like that's where the Icon Moments will start to come into play because in here... This is the pitch notes from the start of the year in FIFA 20. It doesn't say that it's going to be in the middle of February. It says Primes will be released during the month of December. And it's it's worded the same way for February of 2021 with the Icon Moments. So I honestly think we're going to get two weeks of one week being the first set of Icon Moments. And then second week being the second set of those cards released into packs. And I'm not entirely sure if we will see Icon Moments this week on Friday. Now that I'm reading through this a little bit more, thinking about it a little bit more, I think I might have changed my opinion because it almost just seems like all of that would be way too much for a content shop on a Friday in FIFA. Now, I know it's like, yo, it could happen because it seems like it could happen. But last year, this is where I was getting this from earlier. Last year, Prime Icon Moments of Ronaldinho during the first set was released on February 14th, which was this uh, the second Friday of the month, right? Now, one other thing that we have to think about that is also this Friday is Lunar New Year. Lunar New Year is the 12th of February um, to 12, right? And that is this Friday. So uh, obviously, Footwatch added something to the code. They said this, this update that we just looked at right there is most likely just a kit or something along those lines. But... Lunar New Year has been a promo in past ages of FIFA that has been like insane, insane for the game and for the market. They have done half-priced packs before with coins during Team of the Year. Now, I don't think you have to be worried about that. I don't think you have to expect that. They didn't do it last year. I honestly don't think they'd do it again. But uh, that's something to always kind of look out for. It might just be like a kit, SBC. It might just be an objective or so for that Lunar New Year promotion um, this year in FIFA. So just kind of keep an eye out for that as well. But that's another thing that will be coming uh, this Friday tomorrow on FIFA. But um, yeah, it's just it just seems like there's a lot of unknowns. It almost just seems to me like they're going to keep Future Stars in its promo by itself. We're going to get the new objective. We're going to get the new Future Star cards in packs, the new SBCs, stuff like that. I'm still expecting a big time flashback. Um, we did have a player moments SBC today, but I still think we could get a flashback FFS during this weekend for a Mendy, for a Militao, for a Sancho, even if they really wanted to. A lot of big name players. Havertz, right? Kai Havertz doesn't have any special cards except for the ones to watch this year in FIFA. He could easily get a, a, a flashback future stars item, flashback two future stars with an SBC. So there's a lot of potential for more SBC content to come out this weekend and especially on Friday. And that's why I think they're just going to keep the Future Stars promo by itself. But I'm still glad that we talked about Icon Moments in yesterday's video because that is good information to get out and to talk about. I still could see it coming, but I feel like the, the percentage possibility of that is less than I was originally thinking before after going ahead and doing some more research. Now, again, just like the Future Stars cards, this new team of the week, if any of you guys are looking at Varane, Sterling, this Morales, there are eight left wing slash left mid players in this team of the week. If you look all the way through it, eight of them, which is nuts. That's a crazy, crazy high amount of left wings, left mids uh, in FIFA right now in this team of the week specifically. But watch out for these informed cards. This team of the week is like sneaky, right? Sterling, Depay, Varane. Morales is kind of good. Kempembe. There's actually a decent amount of value in this week's team of the week, uh, like for team of the week packs and stuff. And there's some decent players. This Morales is no joke. He's got some pace, left side, four-star, four-star, pretty decent agility and balance. Um, this this guy might be a card that actually rebounds a bit after rewards. People want to try him out. Diaby with the French links again. Kempembe, I think, is a way overpriced as an 86-rated center back, but he gets really good links, right? So just keep an eye on this week's team of the week for a dip and then a bounce after rewards, as always. And I'll say this too, right? For the past couple weeks, SBC fodder, which is super, super inflated right now, has been an incredible, incredible buy during the first couple hours of rewards. You're going to see these guys drop two to 3,000 coins a card on some of the higher rated fodder. Great, great opportunity to buy in on that stuff because as we've seen before, 
what we usually do is on Fridays or Thursday nights on stream, we look at the index 86 and we see that yes, rewards drop this market, but then it rebounds. Of course, this guy this got pumped up today big time because of the 85 double upgrade SBC, but definitely keep a watch out for some SBC fodder uh, dropping during rewards today. That could be one kind of move that you do make on the market. But um, I have a couple Contes for Thursday flips. Um, I got them in like the middle 150 range. We'll see if those do good this week. I feel like I don't think there's a possibility of overinvestment. Ooh, 153? Is that sitting on the market? Really? All right, I might just snag a couple more contests around 150 if possible. That's a, a pretty good price. But just look around. Some of the informs and stuff have already risen up a decent amount. We were looking at left wing Antoine Griezmann on stream for about 200,000 coins earlier today. And the dude is like 220K now. So some of the stuff has started to go up already with investors and a, with a natural rise. Uh, after a little bit of selling earlier today. So there are some deals out there you can still pick up for a Thursday flip, but they're fewer and far between just because of the amount of buying that has already happened and the amount of links. Like I think I might buy myself a Fakir if I can get a 306. That's actually kind of low. Uh, maybe I'll try to snag that one on a bid right at 300k and save myself some coins but i mean i think there are some great thursday flips out there i think you will see the market do pretty well i don't think people are going to save packs um because why would you save packs with a lot of these future star items in the game today on thursday what could we see for content i'm really not too sure of course you got marquee matchups with a bit of uh of supply coming in on those watch your um if you want to do upgrade packs they're going to get supply today on those types of cards that might be an opportunity to buy in on some golds and commons rare and common golds to uh, do those. Um, I'm not really sure what to expect for content today. I don't think it'd be something too massive. Um, another player SBC would be a lot, honestly. We've had four player SBCs in the past five days, I think. So um, a lot of player SBCs recently. I don't know if they do another one. But speaking of player SBCs, this Musa Dembele right here is coming in on Footbin at about 215K. He's probably going to drop to under 200K during rewards. Won't be that expensive to complete in all honesty. It's not a bad card, right? High high stamina, high strength, high um, you know shooting stats as well. He probably feels pretty good in game with the... He's got water rich traits, outside of foot shot, flare. He's got decent agility balance really good finishing and he's got that four star four star so this is going to fill a hole in a lot of people's teams for a french striker and as we always do we do the hype test on footbin he's got three thousand thumbs up which is pretty good right not crazy but it's pretty good people are willing to pay 200k for a card like this because they feel like it might be worth that much on the market i honestly don't think it would be but the atletico madrid links are huge this year and ea is playing off that right with joao felix with carrasco with Llorente. EA is really, really playing off that hype. Uh, the Suarez objective. So I think that a decent amount of people will do this SBC. That's why I'm looking at more French cards. And that's why I see kind of the meta shifting towards those French cards again as well. Those, I think those cards are going to do really, really well this week. Um, after rewards and even into the weekend, right? Friday night, of course, as the promo is going on, we're going to keep a big time eye on those cards. Um, I'm really trying to snag myself a Griezmann here because I feel, I feel like if I can get one under 200K, that is a cracking value for this card, which I don't think I'm going to be able to find. But um, that's going to be something as well. Again, just a quick reminder that the new upgraded headliner cards are not going to show up under the headliner quality. They're going to show up only if you search under special. Um, that is a glitch that EA has not fixed yet. And uh, that is a pain. But I just want to get on the market today, talk about what could be coming. Again, share some more thoughts about what could be happening this weekend. Um, and of course, these future star cards are going to be very, very popular today. If you are looking to buy one for your team, I do think they will re rebound pretty nicely after rewards. Um, and then even into the night on Thursday night, unless we get some crazy content on Thursday today, honestly, for these, a lot of them are probably going to take a dip and then just keep rising back up. So that's my thoughts on the market right now. Uh, a couple last minute buys if you want to pre rewards, if you're watching this before rewards, but if you're not good luck with your weekend league rewards, I hope you get red Varan, but I also hope you don't. Cause if I match in foot champs, that will suck. <laughs> so anyways, if you enjoyed the video today, smack the thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nathan Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.